had been trying to uh, put together a band for quite some time, actually, and uh, uh, started playing with our original drummer. Um, and uh, then soon I, I met Carlos in one of our classes, and I just accosted him and uh, struck up a conversation about music. And uh, he came to one of our rehearsals, and uh, and uh, uh, he didn't have an instrument, so he, he used to be a guitar player, but I had a spare bass. and gave my bass and uh, that's how I actually became the basis of Interpol. formal as far as bringing a song it's all finished we all learn it. I mean quite a bit you, you know we, someone will come in with um, you know a basic uh, uh, changes in a song something like that but then it's not really until it goes through the process of Interpol as a group that it becomes a song um, so those are the two ways we really do come about it we all have equal say you know it's 25 percent all the way through and uh, on what songs we uh, write play um, pursue and all that, and it's always a democracy, so it's definitely a band in the very sense of the very Check, check, not on. Here we go. Sometimes musical scenes are bred out of, you know, smaller towns and such where people are borrowing from each other a lot and, you know, there's a style of music that's emerging from this town, you know what I mean? And that's, or a scene. And that's, that's normally what the people say when they say music scene. But in this, you know, what they're, what they're um, championing is a new New York City music scene. It's not because we're all, uh, there's this camaraderie where we're all borrowing from each other and doing this. And um, you know, a new form of genre music. It just happens that there's a lot of good music coming out of New York City right now, 
And, you know, I think there's some bands that might have some things in common with us, but a lot of bands that are getting a lot of press are quite different from us. It was working yesterday? Totally. I feel like, I, I can't really describe what we sound like entirely, or what's our place versus it's their place, party. as much as everyone seems to be doing something quite interesting, and it just happens to be a very exciting time for music in New York right now. major influences I don't I can't really say for Interpol for myself what are major influences it's always a, a tough question a question I love to avoid um, fortunately but uh, you know I don't really have particular influences that I can cite oh this is the reason why I started playing guitar I started doing this or that I, I guess in certain ways I come from a sort of punk rock background to a degree and that's probably influenced me to pick up guitar and you know start writing music on my own and you know really find out what I really wanted to do and I could give you know punk rock I suppose you know that influence of mine you know influences should just drive you to make music but you should really try to be conscious of creating original music I think that's uh, how I feel about that oh I love Joe Division yeah they're one of my favorite bands 
but I mean, I have a lot of other post-punk type stuff too. I mean, Joy Division is one example of a lot of good post-punk bands that I normally spin. I think it will always have a little tinge of that, you know, kind of British kind of sound. Um, for for no reason that I, I could even think of, it just it's just the way it happens. But um, I think people will realize that there's more to the picture, more to the sum of Interpol. Except they were very receptive, they gave back. It was beautiful. It's also a change from New York because another difference with New York crowds is you know, everyone's a, a hipster, sort of say, in New York. That, uh, everyone's a little bit too cool, cool. New cool. York. Yeah. You know, everyone knows what you're too. doing. Everyone's, yeah. I mean, we have a good fan base in New York, and I shouldn't really be saying that about people coming to support us, but nevertheless, the general population in New York City, they go out you know, and, uh, for nightly events and stuff like that, you know, they like to think that they know better and whatnot, and they're a little bit too cool to show emotion and reaction. So, to play something like this and be able to like show energy and, and just pure emotion and have someone respond to you just encourages you further, and therefore, I think you reach a state that's a little bit pure and um, just more fun for everyone, really. Yeah. 